Man, this is like a drama show. Just when you thought boxing games were like dead, all of a sudden, Esports Boxing Club comes around. Then round for round was like, hey, we're here too, bro. We're here too. So this has come out of nowhere. Round for round boxing has literally come out of nowhere and said, there you go. Here's our renders for our new boxing game coming. It's like, Huh? So Michael Zarafa, Australia's number one middleweight. I think he's like seventh in the world. Shown renders on his Instagram. I want to put it like here-ish of him in round for round boxing. And I've got to say, it looks pretty impressive. I mean, we have been spoiled by what? Okay, you can go. Okay, let's go. I'm like leaning. Esports Boxing Club have spoiled us with amazing renders of fighters like David Adeyeli, Joe Joyce, Alexander Povetkin. We've seen some amazing stuff. And Ralph Around Boxing are coming with that fire as well. What they're offering here looks really good. And don't get me wrong, this is just one fighter. We obviously need to see more so we can really judge what this game's about but I'm liking what I'm seeing so far. Now, I actually went onto the Round for Round Boxing website because I wanted to learn more about what this game has to offer. And I'll be honest with you guys, the lineup and roster really has blown me away a little bit. Let's have a little look into it. I've got some decent fighters on here. The one that like pops out for me straight away is Andy Ruiz. He's one of the bigger names, definitely, that I would be excited for. He's the fighter that I would definitely want in Esports Boxing Club, and I'm so glad that he's gonna be in a game. Even though it's not Esports, the fact that round for round have got Andy Ruiz is a really, really big deal. Uh, Buster Douglas, obviously known for, for beating Mike Tyson. Um, he's gonna be in the game. We've got, um, who else stands out? Lucas Brown, I can see at the bottom there. Kelly Pavlik, Willie Munro, some really good fighters. Jamal Herring, who we recently saw fight Carl Frampton, and he gave him the business, gave him that serious business. And Zab Judah and Buda Bean. Buda Bean's in Esports Boxing Club as well, so if we've got two fighters from two different games, that should mean someone like an Andy Ruiz will be able to not just be tied down to round for round boxing and he can he can go to esports as well. Vice versa for esports boxers fighters coming from esports to uh, round for round. Great news, that means we as fans don't lose out here. But this is exciting. I think people are gonna ask me this question in my comments and it's gonna be, so Reese, which one are you? Esports or round for round? And honestly guys, I'm not trying to sit on the fence here but I'm both. And the reason I'm hyped for both is because we as fans, we as consumers, customers, we win here. We win massively. You've got to remember, 10 years we've had no boxing games, zero, zilch, nothing. Now we're talking about two games competing against each other, coming out at similar time. This is crazy. It's like I'm living in some weird dream where I'm going to wake up and realise that the last game we've had from the boxing world is Fight Night Champion. But actually, we are looking at two new games coming to consoles any time between now and 12 months from now. It's super exciting. We should be hyped for both of these things here. There's not a competition. I don't see this as competition. I don't see this as us versus them. I see this as we are winning here. We are winning as boxing fans because we're going to have two different boxing experiences to play. Whilst Esports Boxing Club is our strategic gameplay, Round for Round could be the opposite. Round for Round Boxing could be the arcade, beat em up style game that we've played with Fight Night. And there's nothing wrong with that. They're two different experiences, but we as consumers win here because we're getting both of them. I'm also glad because Esports Boxing Club now know there's competition in the market. It's not just them that's going to be running it. Round for round, we're going to be coming for it as well. Competition means you work harder. If you work harder, we get a better game. We win. So it's happy days. But what do you guys think? What do you think of the renders? I know we've only seen one picture and it's hard to really make an assessment off that. But are you hyped for this? Are you hyped for competition in the market? Let me know in the comments below. Make sure to subscribe to the channel because you'll be helping me out massively. Take care, guys.